uh, hello. Um, I have some not good news about us. Okay, I was gonna come out and say I think we should break up, and it's not because I don't still have feelings for you as a best friend. Um, you haven't done anything to upset me. It's not like anything like that. It's just that, um, I'm feeling really bummed out about the reality of our, um, long distance friendship, even though you're in Brooklyn and I'm on Long Island and it's not really that far. It's very far. Um, um, so... You'll be visiting on April 6th. I'm assuming you'll spend the night, and that'd be nice. And maybe we'll watch Nine on Two and know that night. But then, um, we won't see you for the rest of your semester. And then summer will come, and you'll be really busy. And these are just really long stretches of time. And we're getting pretty serious, like, Paul's getting, like, a lot more focused about, um, moving. Like, um, we had a big talk about, like, things to repair around the house to make it more sellable, like, plumbing stuff or whatever. Like, it appears to be happening. Um, uh, he's showing less and less doubt and fear so and I'm just like whoa okay whatever so anyway so we're gonna move to Portland and I don't know how long it'll take to sell the house truly it's a complete mystery um I don't know three months six months a year like I, it's so unknowable uh, I don't know really how the I can do some research about the um real estate market of this area but I don't know we're such an obscure location that I have a hard time seeing how anyone would want to live here but houses do sell so anyway it's just um I'd, I'd have no idea but meanwhile you'll be busy far away and then we'll move to Portland and I don't know what you'll do maybe you'll stay in New York or maybe you'll move to Portland too and then you'll be busy. You'll have a job, a full-time job, and a full-time boyfriend, assuming you stay with Jimmy. And we won't see you. It'll be like really like long stretches. Um, I was talking about this last night, not this, not last night, recently, with Paul, and he was like, "There is no need to make a declaration." of breaking up and saying things that will you'll find out later where you didn't need to have said, um, but you said them so they, they hangs in the air forever. But, um, hell, I mean, I've told him I want a divorce like a hundred times and we're still going strong. So I, I mean, There, I, I, I'm like still in shock, kind of. Uh, you know, I thought you were moving out in the middle of March or whatever, like, which is really only two weeks later than when you wound up moving. Excuse me. Um, but. I don't know, it kind of blindsided me. And I tried to roll with it, and I did roll with it. Like, I, I, it's kind of like these aftershocks that I'm feeling. Maybe I'm just like really isolated and bored here. That <laughs> could be a big part of it. Even but this past semester, you know, you've been a lot more inaccessible. I don't blame you for that, but it's not like we were going thrifting and Starbucks a lot or, you know, like whatever. Little fun things that we would do. It was very minimal, but you were just there. So it was nice. 
I mean, I don't know. I miss you. But I have to break up with you. But I don't really know what that means. All it means is I'm very aware that I'm barely going to see you. That makes me sad. And the other day, <laughs> I said to Poppy, I was like about to cry. And I said to Poppy, I was like, does it make you sad that Anna doesn't live here anymore? And she's like, no, I don't even think about it. <laughs> and I, like, totally like cool customer. I know when she sees you, she'll be overjoyed. But um, it's just not something he's dwelling on. She's not pondering it or missing you. Oh God, what would happen if I just disappeared? Would she be detached like that? Paul says she just lives in the moment, and that's probably true for her age. Um, although she does plague me from time to time with haunting memories of little acorns that stab me in the heart. But, um, yeah, um, sorry, this is such a negative bummer. I don't even know if I'm going to send it to you. But just think about it. We're never going to see each other. Like, I mean, we will, but it'll be so rare. Like, and it's fucked up because it's going to be rare whether we're across country from each other or whether you're 40 miles away or whatever it is. Um, there is... I guess I could get Poppy and go on the train to Penn Station and transfer whatever way I need to to get to the train that goes to your neighborhood. Um, it's a long journey. And then, I don't know, hang out. And then maybe Paul could pick us up or take us home. Um, so I could see that happening. But... <sighs> That could happen. But you're going to be busy. You're not going to be able to make that happen. Um, or to allow that to happen. Um, that's so I feel helpless. Uh, as an aside, Liz emailed me. A couple of days ago and she's like can we uh talk on the phone and i was like um how about tomorrow when paul's not working which was even yesterday and i had my period i was like i can't call and but she also emailed me oh when she asked me to call i responded in the email i was like hey like it's like 99 percent that we're like going to move to portland to portland and she responded Yay! She's like, move to Astoria, please, please, please. Um, she and she made some weird joke. She didn't use the word thruple, but she's like, I could be your third. And um, something about her girlfriend. It was like so confusing. Like, is she joking? I mean, being a thruple thing, I'm sure it's a joke. But she mentioned a girlfriend, and uh, she, like, I don't really think my girlfriend will mind. Something like that. It was weird. I, I haven't written back to that yet. <sighs> the hell's that about? But anyway, I was like, we're not going to Astoria. We basically live in Astoria without a cute coffee shop and bookstore and, um, you know, place that sells like seashell jewelry and you know, whatever touristy little crap is in Astoria. Yes, we like that. But we're two hours away from the main city. And I think in Astoria would be two hours away from the main city. So uh, I know Paul has no interest in that. And I have no interest in that. And I don't want to live on a gloomy coast. Right now I'm living on a gloomy coast. So, um, yeah. I feel bad, though. Obviously she's lonely. And the last time I saw her in Portland... 
she was like i can't decide if i should move back to portland or stay in astoria and invest in this building with some other people um that would be an art space and um it would encourage um artists to uh come and I was like, artists that paint like seashore paintings or she's like, no, like, like more like um, serious artists. And I was like, do you think the, the guy, I don't know, the story seems kind of far away. And she, but she seemed really pumped about it. And she's like, there'd be a band space, um, art space, and it's just a big building. And she's kind of pondering putting a lot of money into it. Um, versus just moving to Portland and like being around her friends and doing her music and not being totally isolated. And uh, yeah, I was like, oh, I'm back to Portland. Like a, an investment in a building in like a small town that has no interest. She said, she's like, the local community would have no interest in this. So you're just dragging people from Portland. I don't, it sounded like a bad idea, um, but um, um, at that point she was completely mad and not sleeping and taking supplements, the same supplements I was taking that helped me not. So whatever, I don't know. Um, but yeah, just, yeah, just had to throw that in there. Like, I don't even have a response. I guess it'd be like, Paul really wants to stay in Portland. So that's what we're going to do. If we're going to make the move, we're making it to Portland. Um, so, yeah, but, um, maybe I shouldn't have used the words break up, but just, like, I'm looking at reality, and, uh, I don't, it's bumming me out. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know what you could say to this. You might say, oh, it's not true, we'll see each other, but, like, think about it hard. When will we really see each other? When will we really have any time alone together, not with Poppy? And um, when will we do things that we should do together? Just... Yeah, you're busy. You're busy. You're busy. I'm not busy. You are busy. And that's just how it is. It's reality. Okay, I don't want to get cut off by YouTube. I'm going to stop now. I'm sorry.